morning everybody so today me and jasper well we woke up so late today it's actually kind of embarrassing I woke up at like well i woke up at nine and then i went back to sleep and then woke up at 12. jasper didn't get out of bed till one so we had the longest line today but we are up we're ready for the day jasper just currently put the table back in position because i was doing some filming for my job this morning so jasper's just rearranging the living room hence the noise in the background done <laughs> i love how i start filming and you start rearranging the house but anyway it's got to be done do you want to say hi 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 to everyone hi 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 um so anyway we are all ready for the day we're having a very relaxed day and these are kind of like my favorite days to film because i don't feel like the pressure like if i film like a day where we've got tons going on i always tend to forget like filming so i thought today chill vibes we've got no specific plans it's going to be like a fun day to film so i hope you guys do enjoy this vlog but anyway we're gonna head out to a coffee shop because basically a lot of you guys know that my new job is tiktok and i want to get a clip in a coffee shop but obviously in the week like just was working so i kind of needed someone to help me with it so i thought we would do it today so yeah i need to get a clip in a coffee shop but i've also got such an exciting thing to show you um coffee you probably would have seen it on my instagram if you follow me over there but i'm gonna show you guys that a bit later on let's head on out i have the company's outfit i swear i wore this in my last video just this misguided jumper i don't know what it is about it it's so basic but i just love the color of it now i've also just got on some joggers that's my tripod there we're in the car we're just trying to find a parking spot which is proven to be slightly difficult standard standard yeah but um we're just gonna run into the coffee shop and then come back so it shouldn't be too long We are now back home. The coffee shop was a bit of a fail. It was just so dark in there. So we literally went in there. I was like, the lighting's terrible. So then we just went to Greg's, got a sausage roll because they are unbelievable. And then we headed home. So it was a very quick trip into town. But I have something so exciting because you guys know that usually I would have just got an iced coffee anyway. But no, we've got a new member of the household. Look at her. Oh my gosh we got this coffee machine the other day and i am just so obsessed so this is the sage touch barista edition one i think it is so let's turn it on to show you but honestly it's so cool so it has like a little touch screen so you can like select your drink and then you can add new drinks like i'm just so i'm just so obsessed with it so oh what am i doing i need to get back put some coffee beans in here so these are the starbucks blonde roast coffee beans um because as you guys know if you've been here for a while i love the starbucks blonde roast so yeah we've upgraded we leveled up i'm just so happy with it like it's just it just looks so nice doesn't it i thought it was only right that we make a little iced coffee together so that is what we're gonna do we actually got this machine in the black friday sale i can't remember which site we got it off of with john lewis or curries or somewhere like that and basically because it was in black friday we were like you know what we're just gonna treat ourselves to it because i've been eyeing up the sage coffee machines for so long and we've had the nespresso pod one for literally like three years now like for the longest time so me and jasper were like we're just gonna take the plunge we're just gonna give it a go and it's a lot more complicated than i was expecting like to get all the grind set in the time that it comes out so then the yield and there's so many different like settings that i just don't even know yet but i feel like we're getting to grips with it we've kind of like found out what works best for these coffee beans so fingers crossed this one's gonna turn out all right but i will show you guys so let's do it so let's pick latte so as you can see on the screen it's got like the gr the coarseness which we've got on six grind time um then you brew it you can pick double or single and then we've also got the milk which i'm not going to need because i'm going to make an iced one all right let's push it in and then you got to do the little tamp in press that down i feel like such a barista i actually used to work in starbucks i worked there for like two months so not very long and i can't really remember anything but i just get so excited and i got the little razor to go around 
So I don't know if you can see. So as you can see, it's all quite like smooth now. So we're gonna pop it under here. I've also got this caramel drizzle, which I picked up from Asda. So it's kind of like the one they use at Starbucks. So I'm just gonna top my coffee with this. So good, I'm so happy with it. So Jasper's gonna come make his in a second. Um, but yeah, literally obsessed. You know you're getting old, when you're excited about coffee, new coffee machines, and you're currently looking at reviewing your, renewing your mortgage rates. <laughs> Exciting time. So it's coming up, like how mad is this? In March, it will be two years in this house. Like insane. And apparently we got a letter through from Barclays the other day saying that our mortgage rate is changing in January. So we're just having a look to see like different interest rates and things like that. So yeah, fun times. Fun, fun, fun. So Jasper's just made his coffee. I love the uh, choice of cup. <laughs> Yeah, it's pretty poor, isn't it? Smoothie thing. <laughs> Neutral Um, We need to get some more of these from Starbucks. Well, not really, because it's only, it's only me and you who ever really have them. Yeah, and true. to be fair, it's only because we're going out. Yeah, we're going to mum's now. So we're going to head to Jasper's mum. We might go to a shop on the way back. I probably won't feel anything at your mum's. Nah. Nah, but um, we shall head on out now. So fast forward a couple of hours, I'd say. How long were you there for? Mm, I don't know. But anyway, we are now back home um, and we are just ordering the McDonald's festive menu because we haven't tried it. It's literally like two things, isn't it, mainly on the menu? Yeah. It's like a festive like burger, a festive chicken burger and a celebration McFlurry and a mince pie, basically. And oh, and cheese dippers. Um, we just ordered the two burgers. We're currently just sat here trying to find something on Netflix to watch. Um, so yeah, we're gonna be trying that. So as soon as we get it, I will show you what it looks like. I'm excited. Are you? Yeah. Uh, the people out at work on Friday. Did they? I didn't get McDonald's though, so it sounds good. Well done you. Did they say it was nice? Yeah. That's right then. But yeah, we'll, we'll give it a taste test and let you know. But we're trying to find, I don't know what we wanna watch. I kinda wanna watch another series. So the food has just arrived, so this, is the festive sack. It looks, the the presentation is really horrendous on that one, but we'll give that one a try. And then we've got the festive crispy chicken, which I don't know what it looks like. It's, it's like, it's got tons of lettuce in. Oh, you can see the crispy chicken there. So, I mean, presentation isn't the best, but we'll give it a try. Jasper's was going in for the burger one. What was that one? Festive sack. Mm. Nice. Mmm. It's pretty nice. Mmm. Nice in the big mac, isn't it? Mmm. And then we're gonna try the crispy chicken one. Oh, is that cranberry? Sauce, sauce. and sage and onion and mayo. Oh. So much less this isn't that. Oh, yeah, it's just like a big piece of chicken that. Oh yeah. They never like build them very well, do they? No. That is unreal, that one. Well, wow, nice, isn't it? Mmm. Mmm. They're both so nice. <laughs> What's that about? They're both so nice, aren't they? Mmm. Good morning, everybody. I'm feeling all fresh face this morning. I made myself a little hot chocolate because it's absolutely freezing today. It's one of those like gray, cloudy, cold days. One of those winter days that to be fair, like I do look forward to this time of year because I just find it so much more cozy. Like when do you ever have a hot chocolate in the morning in the summer? Like never. So I do live for these times, but I feel like once you actually get here, it's like you're just so cold that you're just like, I'm ready for summer. But I do not want to wish away the Christmas period because I'm so excited for Christmas. I'm so excited to put our Christmas decorations up. So me and Jasper are actually going to be doing that next 
weekend, I'm pretty sure. But we've also got the first week of December off work. Um, so I feel like we might do it during the week instead, like on the 1st of December. When is the 1st of December, actually? I've got my laptop here. Oh, it's Wednesday, so we could do it then. And I'm also very excited to watch Christmas films. One of my favourite Christmas films is... I don't even know how I think Glasses is a favourite Christmas film, but I love The Princess Switch um, on Netflix. So good with Vanessa Hudgens in. I just love it. I don't know, something about it just puts me in the Christmas mood. And it's kind of like a little like love story kind of... I don't know, I like it. I also like The Holiday. Jasper's favourite Christmas film actually is The Polar Express. So random, it's been his favourite one since he was like a kid, I'm pretty sure. Like, that's just what puts him in the Christmas mood, so we definitely need to watch that as well. So we've got so much good stuff to look forward to. Also, we're gonna buy so many more Christmas decorations this year. I'm gonna try and convince Jasper to decorate the outside of our house with some like fairy lights and stuff, but don't know if that will go down well we might not well the thing is we'll need like a ladder if you're new here this is actually our second christmas in our house so last year we bought a bunch of decorations just like standard like the christmas tree baubles some fairy lights a garland is, is that what it's called we can now add to our collection and buy a couple more things which is going to be good so we're definitely going to be doing some garden center visits i feel like so many people already have their christmas decorations up let me know if you have yours up or when you're going to be putting your christmas decorations up because i feel like the first of december is is just puts you in the Christmas mood, but Christmas just goes so quickly, doesn't it? Anyway, enough Christmas chat. So like I say, we've got one more week at work and then the following week we are off work, which is gonna be good. Um, just to have a bit of time to relax because since I started my new job, I've had like, pretty sure I've had three days off work like extra so it's gonna be good to have like a full-on week off and we also don't have tons of plans so we were gonna to go to london in december and do like winter wonderland or christmas light all that stuff but we also were just like can we actually be bothered like winter wonderland is the same every single year and i feel like i really want to go but then also it's expensive and i feel like i just like a week to just kind of chill out at home and get the house organized and sort out our loft space and get that board and just do like jobs around the house i feel like that's what we're gonna do and i really want to make some pizzas for dinner which if i do that i will let you guys know um so I might do that but i also might do some just like washing tidying around the house you know all just the boring everyday life stuff uh, I also put my hair in like the little heatless curl thing again and I'm just so obsessed with it literally looks like I've curled my hair and I haven't I just put it in like a little thing overnight so anyway I'm gonna sit here drink my hot chocolate do some bits on my iPad and laptop and then I shall catch up with you guys in a bit but I just wanted to say hey hope you're having a good day and yeah cheers to Christmas vibes <music> I also, I was mentioning this, like I literally never work in my office and these chairs are actually quite uncomfortable to sit on for a long period of time so I need to start working in my office again. But I really want to redecorate it, which I've mentioned before in my other video, but yeah, it's definitely something that I want to do soon because I do definitely want to start working up there more. Good evening everybody. So I am just about to make some pizzas for dinner, which is going to be so nice. I don't remember the last time that I actually made like the pizza base. Um, we usually make like pizza wraps, so just have like a wrap as a base and then put toppings on that's so nice it's like a lunchtime option but i really want to make like the actual pizza base so we popped to sainsbury's the other day and got some flour some yeast i swear it's literally like flour yeast a tiny bit of sugar and some salt i'm pretty sure that's all that was in the recipe maybe a little bit of oil so i was like you know what i'm just gonna make pizza base for dinner so that is what we're gonna be doing but i have just finished watching you um i've watched season three now and I just love you like it is actually so good honestly season three was literally like all over the place so it was good like if you haven't watched you it's like unlike any other series i've ever watched it's just so it's a little bit strange but i really liked it i'm actually so cold i had the heating on earlier on but i haven't got it on at the moment um so i feel like i need to turn it back on but i've got a big jumper on which is going to be nice but me and jasper are thinking of having like a pizza date night we've also got some wine which i think we're gonna have a little bit of i don't really like i like I like rosé with lemonade. Not a big wine drinker though, but we might have a little bit of that. Because we have some in the cupboard, so I popped it in the fridge. So it's going to be like a little pizza and wine night. Which I think it's going to be so cute. I don't know what it is, but when I see people drinking wine, I always think like, oh my god, you look so sophisticated. And I bet that tastes so nice. And wine in the glass just looks so nice. But I'm just not the biggest fan, so I always mix wine with lemonade. So it's kind of like a spritz. 
Um, so yeah, I might have a little bit of that, but we shall see. But for now, I'm gonna go make the pizza bases. Jasper's is currently upstairs playing his game. Fingers crossed, like who knows how this is gonna turn out. Hopefully it's not a fail. I'm pretty sure it's gonna be quite simple and straightforward, but I don't, don't wanna jinx it. So let's go make the pizza base. This is the recipe I'm using. So it's just the one from Sainsbury's magazine, um, but it's just quick pizza dough. So we need 400 grams of plain flour. So let's start with that. So in terms of topping, we've got these sweet and smoky sliced chicken breasts. Then we've got some tomato puree. Jasper's got this cheese and then I've got um, dairy-free cheese. So a mozzarella alternative. I really like the, I can't remember what brand it's called, but they didn't have it. So I just got this one instead when I went into Asda the other day. I've got some sweet corn, got some red onion and got some yellow peppers. So that I'm pretty sure is gonna be all the toppings. One thing I've just realized is I was about to roll the dough out. We don't have a rolling pin. <laughs> so we're just, trying to spread them out. <laughs> yeah, you like working it. It looks, looks good. So this is my pizza. I mean, it's all right. Not bad, just we're just working on his. We're gonna top them and we gotta leave them for like 15 minutes to rise. I'm pretty sure that's what it said. And then, yeah, should have good pizza. What are you saying, Jasper? I'm saying, bang. Bang. <laughs> this is my finished pizza. I've just topped it with cheese. I'm actually quite impressed with how it's looking at the moment. Just was just still working on his. Yours looks good as well. Right, pizzas are going in the oven. So let's pop them in. Oh, it's a cork. Oh, it's with, with posh, baby. <laughs> what are you doing with really expensive wine bottles? What? I've seen a video on TikTok. It's like 22 grand bottle of wine, right? And because they, they don't want to risk putting any cork in it, mm. it's got quite a long neck. They heat up the neck with a thing, which I thought was going to make the cork come out. Yeah. But no, they literally get it so hot here, and then it just like, I think they hit it, mm. and it just like snaps clean off. No way. Yeah. Yeah, I did not realise this one had a cork, so this is 19 Crimes. Revolutionary Rosé. Go on then, Jasper, you can do the honours. <laughs> Jasper's just having an absolute mare. <laughs> the cork's just like... You did it. Well done, Jasper. Save the day. Saves. <laughs> See, what my fault. It's Cork's fault. Is it? <laughs> it was. It was. Just... You seen me? Yeah. little sharpness at the end can't deal someone actually told me to put soda water in it instead of a made me was it you yeah it doesn't make it doesn't change the taste of it like it just gets rid of the harshness but doesn't make it sweeter we don't have any soda water so we probably do do we probably so there's an app that you basically scan like image and then it will come alive so i'll do that now and show you catalpa was sent to australia on a whaling mission Set for a much more important mission. So guys, it looks like our pizzas are done. Let's take them out and see. So these are our pizzas. Just was a slightly odd straight shape, but his looks so good. And this is my one. I did have the pizza tray though, so I do have an advantage, but they look so good. So I've got my pizza and we're gonna try it. Mmm. So good. That is actually delicious. The base is like hard underneath, so it's like perfect. You rate it. It's nice. Yeah. It's part where mine sort of stuck to the work top and you know, campaign. Parts of it are like a bit thinner, so they've gone like quite crispy. Uh, yeah. But no, it's nice. It's, it's nice. Nice. Success. <laughs>